Hi guys, Weintuber here and in today's video I'm going to talk about the differences in between two Italian wine icons, which is Valpolicella and Amarone. So, let's get started! Before we start, many thanks to Tommaso from Consortio Tutella Vini Valpolicella, Silvio from Paolo Cotini and Matteo from Classic Drinks for helping me with this video. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, please consider to subscribe! Both wines, Valpolicella and Amarone, are produced in the western part of the Veneto region, located close to the city of Romeo and Juliet, which is Verona. Did you know that Veneto is the biggest Italian wine producing region by volume? A part of Valpolicella and Amarone in this area are also producing Prosecco, Soave and Bianco di Custosa. Did you know that the region of Valpolicella when both Amarone and Valpolicella wines are produced, it's divided into three sub-regions including generic Valpolicella, also known as Valpolicella Orientale. This is the largest sub-region located on the eastern part of the region. Then Valpolicella Valpantena, it's located in the middle part of the valley. And finally, Valpolicella Classico, it's situated close to the Lake Garda, and this is the historic part of the Valpolicella production. Did you know that there is five different wines produced in the Valpolicella region, including generic Valpolicella young and fruity, then Valpolicella superiore, which is normally with the higher amount of alcohol compared to the generic Valpolicella, then Ripasso, which is double fermented wine, then Amarone della Valpolicella, full bodied wine with usually higher amount of alcohol. And finally, Recioto della Valpolicella, which is, in fact, sweet version of Amarone. Before we move on to the main topic, which is the difference between Valpolicella and Amarone, here are the few wine terms that can be found on the Valpolicella wines. Azienda Agricola, Cantina or Tenuta means winery. Classico on the label stands for the wines that come from the classic or historic part of the region. Superiore, wines made from the selected grapes with higher alcohol content than standard Valpolicella and must be aged for at least one year before its release. And then Reserva, wines must be aged for a longer period of time. For example, Amarone Reserva is aged for four years before its release. Did you know that all Valpolicella and Amarone wines are blends and there is eight grapes permitted in the Valpolicella region? Including the backbone of the Valpolicella wines, which is Corvina. Then the second most important variety is Corvignone. The third one is Rondinella. And the fourth one is Molinara. Apart of those four, the Valpolicella producers are also allowed to use Oseleta, Croatina, Dindarella and Spigamonti, which is the quite new and can be used only in the small proportions. This is super exciting fun fact. Did you know that Amarone was created by mistake until 1936? The Valpolicella region was very well known of producing, of course, Valpolicella wines, but also sweet wines called Recciotto della Valpolicella, but not Amarone. So in the late 1940s, one of the cellar managers just realized that he completely forgot about one barrel of sweet wine of Recciotto della Valpolicella. And then he shared this wine with the one of the president of local cooperative. This president tastes the wine and he said Amaro, which means bitter in Italian. And then he tastes one again and he said, no, this is not Amaro, it is Amarone. 
and this is the short story how the Amarone wine, the king of wine, was born. So what happened there in 1936? The leftover sweet recciotto over the time fully fermented and became dry Amarone. By the way, the first Amarone was released to the market in 1953. The first difference between Valpolicella and Amarone is the different status in the Italian wine classification system. Valpolicella wines hold the DOC status, which stands for Denominazione di Origine Controllata, which means control designation of origin. On the other hand, Amarone della Valpolicella holds the DOCG status, which stands for Denominazione di Origine Controllata e Garantita, which is in fact the highest designation for Italian wines. All the Italian DOCG wines, including Amarone, undergo analysis and tasting by the government. Did you know that Amarone was promoted from DOC to DOCG status in December 2009? The second difference in between Valpolicella and Amarone are part of the color. Amarone is slightly darker than Valpolicella. It's the bouquet, it's the aromas. Valpolicella on the nose is medium plus intensity, showing aromas of red cherries, raspberries and beautiful aromas of chestnut, which is Amarone della Valpolicella. It's pronounced, showing aromas of prunes, dates, dark cherries, dark plums, chocolate and figs. The difference in between both wines is huge. The third and probably the most important difference between Valpolicella and Amarone is the taste. Valpolicella is very easy drinking, full of red fruits such as cherries, raspberries, cranberries as well, with fantastic vibrant acidity and in my opinion can be slightly cooler than Amarone. Which is this wine, it's pronounced, really concentrate, showing aromas of really black fruits, black plums, black cherries, raisins, dates, prunes and chocolate and the finish it's really really long i have to say amarone for me is a fantastic wine to pair with the gamey dishes or wine for meditation the fourth and also very important difference in between valpolicella and amarone is the wine making process the vast majority of Valpolicella wines are fermented in stainless steel tanks and then age in the bottle for a few months before our release. Which is on the other hand, Amarone della Valpolicella is produced from partially dehydrated grapes. This process takes place in ventilated rooms for at least three months and it's called apacimiento. Grapes are losing approximately 35% of weight, which reflects on the concentration of aromas, complexity and sugar contents, which means higher alcohol level in finishing wine. Amarone de la Valpolicella must be aged for a minimum of two years in oak, starting from the 1st of January after the harvest, which is Amarone de la Valpolicella Reserva, it's aged for a minimum of four years starting from the 1st of November of the year of the harvest. And finally, the fifth and the last difference between Valpolicella and Amarone, it's of course the price. Valpolicella Classico will cost you approximately 20 US dollars. Valpolicella Ripasso will cost in between 25 to 30 US dollars. And finally, Amarone will cost you a minimum of 55 US dollars as the wine making process is time and money consumed. 
some of my customers or subscribers sometimes ask me a question, Thomas, what is your favorite producer of this particular wine? So here we go, here is my six favorite and affordable producers of Valpolicella and Amaroni wines. So on my list it's Paolo Cotini, Tedeschi, Azienda Agricola Meroni, Monte Santoccio, Fidora and Domini Venetti. I highly recommend to take a screenshot of this slide as all of them are absolutely amazing producers of Valpolicella and Amaroni wines. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I'm enjoying both wines at the moment. By the way, don't miss out my next one about top 10 the most overpriced and overrated wines of 2024. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.